fucks ass when you're like literally like five minutes into the session you're feeling good you've had a day off and then fucking fell down slipped down here so i've got dry mouth and i just landed your finger first down there and now we're like, it moves a bit but it feels like really like clunky and weird if you can see that it's just like a weird clunking there's very very intense pain so uh yeah hashtag don't know if i've broken it or not yet but uh that is just what you don't want to happen like literally like five minutes into the search that's so uh, ass so bad uh and i was just not even doing anything that exciting anyway just like playing around on the curb as you do but anyway so uh, it might be all right who knows it's moving a bit oh I know where the injury is, it's on that knuckle there. Oh, that's the, probably the adrenaline kicking in there because it feels like nice and warm and toasty. Alright, guys, okay, so it still really, really freaking hurts and burns, but like warm burn now, I suppose, too. I don't know. Anyway, I'll let you know what goes on. Peace, one love. Ah, it doesn't work too good. Ciao for now. Mm.
It's like it's, it's quite painful in the joint and it's like when you try to move like the finger like either way that way or that way that's where it's quite painful so I might have just like bruised inside the joint or something like that um, knuckle there as I said I hit the ground like that and my finger sort of displayed and immediately it was just like ow that really hurt like so I suppose like that really but it sort of went like that on itself pretty hard to tell but it's yeah from there too good guys not the best lens for this but yeah it's kind of like bruised and sore all around that knuckle there uh, and I think it's actually more likely because I can still bend it like a bit as you can see the rest of the fingers are kind of working but really painful in that joint that way the pain's like more on the inside of the finger because I think it's like because I went down like that it bent it like like that on itself so it's just kind of like it's hyper it's not really hyper extended but it's bent off in a weird way I said not enough to actually break it so to speak but enough to uh, just cause a little bit of damage and obviously some pain so mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go and have a rest now anyway so um, yeah super pleased with the video from uh, earlier I am really 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 wanted to try and do something over that rail like a really and my no play really uh, was just really good fun I, I enjoyed that so much it, it, it was just like the feeling of landing that last one rolling away it was just like oh my god so I'm going to have a go at it again, try and get a few more down and then maybe raise the rail up and just try it a little bit higher every time. Um, and then going to go back you know, when I've got some confidence in that and try um, an actual rainy again. I don't know, because uh, I also wanted to try and switch because I, uh, the no comply and the rainy because although I tried them both today, like I had a feeling like that there was a bit more from that one. But again, like just rolling away, switch, not so easy. So it'd um, be cool to do like a... Uh, like a no comply or uh, 180 rally or a no comply like um, what do you call it a like a like a literally to do like a 180 like into it like that do you know what I mean like or 180 out of it I know I'm trying to explain but yeah like a super 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 love watching Dan Corrigan's videos and uh, like two of my favourite skaters online uh, like Beva and Dan uh, who've got the best romance by far <laughs> No, I really, really love the way they skate and the style they skate. That just sort of, I don't know, something very like, um, it's so, it's very controlled. Um, but yeah, like just um, something about the style, the type of tricks they do, um, like ride on grinds, of course, ride on grinds all day. Um, but yeah, like I'm, I'm glad that, you know, at least that you can just skate wherever you want. No one's, you know, no one can tell you what. You know, you just skate what you enjoy at the end of the day, but like I super, super enjoy watching those guys skate uh, and those are the kind of tricks and stuff I'd like to be able to do. Although I do love like Christopher, like Chris Hyatt, Hyatt, Hyatt is it now? And like he's got like a super, super lo amazing style. Love watching like Zach Doyling as well. He's got like, like super, like control, smooth technique and consistency down every time. And of course, Andy Anderson. Uh, who doesn't enjoy watching Andy Anderson skate? Uh, you know, he's just super creative, like just balance all day, and, and and just the way he puts tricks together from like the mix of freestyle. He's a great transition rider, but it seems to be pretty good on like rails and stuff as well. So like quite well rounded, I'd say. So maybe today's skaters are like just more like you know, it, it is it's required us to be more like well rounded and you know not just to be a transition skater so to speak. But you do still find people like inherently prefer one thing or another. Uh, I've just sort of become a bit of a street skater in the last couple of years that I've been skating because that's not all I've really had access to but you know occasionally I do go out of my band so I'm trying to do some transition as you've seen in uh, Road to Transition episode 2 uh, and yeah like you know just trying to like basically just keep setting the bar higher and higher 
uh, and today was one of those days where like I had no idea what was going to happen. I did launch myself and do some pretty interesting uh, body slams. Um, I was bodied, uh, uh, as Bo would say, uh, completely and utterly bodied. Um, <laughs> And I landed on my bad hip, which is like pretty bruised as well. But yeah, it's like, like, like hashtag skateboarding and loving it, man. So, yeah, so yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, my ice cube, my uh, ice pack finger. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys very, very soon uh, where I hopefully uh, worry less, skate more, land more tricks. Hopefully, that toe flip, uh, kick flip, which I want so bad. Uh, peace, one love, guys. Worry less, skate more. Uh, two crutches, one leg. <laughs> maximum effort. Peace fam! Mm. And don't land on your finger at the start of the sesh, uh, especially if you're a crutch skater. Sucks ass and as a wheelchair user as well. Ah, that's all I'm going to say guys. Keep safe and uh, I've got it, you've got it. Ciao for now! Alright okay, guys, so it's the next day and my finger, I'm just going to say that it pretty much is probably broken because um, take the bloody things off and you'll be able to see but yeah my that knuckle there oh that one there on that side that's the one that's really hurt and I think like what's happened I had an injury like a few years ago whereas it's kind of gone I'm not gonna hurt it because I don't want to hurt it but uh, you can probably see it there it's like lumpy as buggery and there was like a lump sticking out the side as well so like it looks a bit disfigured as well but that's the most comfortable position for it straightening it is like really hard virtually impossible. Oh, I'm trying to get it focused there guys, sorry. It's a miserable old day outside anyway, so it's not like we were going to get loads of skin in any time. You can see that because it's pretty bad actually. That knuckle is just like, it's not impressive. No, it hurts. And uh, if anyone ever asks me what one of my major dislikes in life are, I would just have to say broken fingers slash finger and hand injuries because but yeah, you can kind of see there, it's like really lumpy on that knuckle there and it's like bruised on the inside there as well a bit like messed more messed up you can see it's kind of like all knobbly and it definitely didn't look like that before so yeah like it's fingeries injuries are uh, just seems to be one of those things that i seem to be able to get myself into quite a bit so uh, there we go yeah just feeling a bit sorry for myself my shoulder is like just feeling really bad the rotator cuff's not doing good at the mo uh, yeah, I guess it's the most injured I've been and I have got another thigh injury I might show you as well. I landed on my hip last week doing uh, some stupid boneless foot plant on a raised like, I don't know how to describe it, but it was like, okay, so I jumped on it, jumped off it and I think the board like went flying from under me and I landed like down and the pair of trousers I was wearing at the time had like really thick seam stitching like on the hip. Ow, I just poked. And I landed down on it and yeah, it was really unpleasant. Extremely unpleasant. Uh, I was like, oh my God, that was horrible, horrible pain. So yeah, I did that and then the bruising's come out. That was like a week ago. Peace, one love, haul of meat and all that good stuff. Um, hashtag uh, helmet gang, because at least my brain's still here. Though I did give myself a good brain shake yesterday. Hit the ground so hard, like on my bum, I think it was on my hip, that I literally felt my brain shake. Uh, in my like skull it was like oh i felt really like rubbish so yeah man remember to thank skateboarding but also respect respect skateboarding because as, as quickly as you can learn that trick it can put you back on your ass and remind you exactly who's boss uh so yeah um stay in control guys uh we're allowed to skate more injury time and it is december so as i said i'll throw up a quick uh two year memory of me broken hand two years ago love doing it with all the christmas stress as well so peace one love guys ciao for now <laughs>